Now we come to our portion of the morning service where we do kind of a news end times update um, that we do each week before we get into the message. And despite all the tragic war and other things that are going on um, in Israel and uh, what we've seen in the the generation uh, since uh, 1947, when Israel became a nation, we've seen unprecedented uh, biblical prophecies and promises coming to pass. And uh, we've seen the not only the rebirth of the nation, but uh, as we mentioned in the, the months ago about the different um, people from all over the world, Jewish people from all over the countries around the world, they're making their way back into Israel, which is another prophecy that we've uh, seen taking place. Now, speaking of that, the first thing I want to draw your attention to, and this happened, uh, article that came out on March 9th, uh, just uh, earlier this week. And it's about the uh, uh, temple altar being rebuilt. And, um, and again, the Temple Institute in Jerusalem had announced that it's finished uh, building the altar uh, suitable for the temple service. Um, and, and the Temple Institute, they've, they've worked really hard. They've brought all the stuff in. So they're ready to rebuild the third temple that's going to um, go up at some point. You know, and that's kind of going to, you know, whether we're here for that time or we're raptured, but we know that that's going to mark about the beginning of the tribulation period. And uh, this third temple that's going to be built, once it's done and completed, the Antichrist is going to come in and he's going to, you know, desecrate the temple and, and say, hey, you need to worship me. And that will start the second half of the great tribulation period. So, so again, they're putting everything ready. Everything's ready to go. We've heard about that. We've talked about that. And in fact, if you go there, you'll take this tour of the, the facility and all the things that they have planned. Uh, so that's kind of uh, news that's uh, being, you know, more of the information about the third temple that's going to be rebuilt. And uh, we know that there's a great location where it's going to happen uh, next to the Dome of the Rock so that the Muslims can still do what they're doing. So there's going to be this peace uh, that's supposed to happen. Um, but uh, ultimately, the Antichrist is going to come in and desecrate the temple. Also, keep in mind what's going to happen on Tuesday. There's an, uh, a, an election that's going to happen in Israel. And, um, and so there's where... Benjamin Netanyahu, who's the current prime minister, he shares about the danger. You know, he's been prime minister for quite a few years. He is a believer. And um, but again, ultimately, we know that no matter what happens or what changes take place, God's in control. You know, he, he understands what's going on. If, and if uh, a, a certain person gets in there, they, he may speed up the process for the Antichrist, just like what uh, President Obama has done. He sped up the whole process of, uh, you know, um, destroying not only the United States, but you see the policies that are going around the world. Um, but uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, who has kept Israel safe, he's kept them secure. Uh, he hasn't compromised with the terrorist organization like Hamas or PLO or Hezbollah and other things like that, where you might have another guy that might be a little more progressive and more liberal in uh, their policies and procedures. And so, um, so it'll be interesting who gets in and uh, see what happens and what takes place uh, on Tuesday and what this year unfolds. And then uh, speaking of uh, policies and procedures, we see just this, uh, um, the, the progressive movements of different governments out there, and especially uh, within the United States with the, the current administration with Barack Obama and all his a, uh, um, cabinet members. You see their agenda that it's producing such an anti-Christ movement and that there is no um, morality that's happening. There, the morality that does not include God. And so it, anything goes except for Christianity. And so, uh, so we're starting to see more of that uh, coming to light, more issues, more problems than ever before. And, uh, and again, there's still two more years left of this administration. Uh, just imagine how much more damage it's going to be caused. And also with this whole um, so-called nuclear deal with uh, Iran. And uh, so that's going to be interesting how all that takes place. But we're seeing such an antichrist movement uh, that is taking place, you know, not only in the United States, but you're seeing it around the world. And then lastly, uh, the, as you probably heard on the March 10th, the announcement with Boko Haram, um, which is the uh, terrorist group in uh, Nigeria and Africa, how they've now partnered with ISIS. Uh, so now they're spreading its wings into f more countries, causing more damage. And so, um, you know, Boko Haram has already driven over three million people uh, from their homes in North um, East Africa for the last, you know, several years, uh, slaughtering whole villages. 
uh, taking women and children as slaves and uh, setting off lethal explosions in densely populated areas. And so, so we're starting to see more of this um, uh, extended uh, terrorist activity with ISIS. Uh, now they have uh, more access now into Africa. So, uh, so it's just interesting to see uh, what's taking place. And again, as you read Psalm 83, you see all these countries coming into place and lining up uh, with uh, more disaster, more wars of what's happening.